For problem 33, let f be the function defined above, such that f of x is this piecewise function for when x is non-zero and x is bigger than or equal to negative four, f of x is simply equal to this equation here up top. And when x is equal to zero, f of x is equal to this value k. For what value of k is f continuous at x equals zero? So to answer this question, we need to understand what it means for a function to be continuous. So let's take a look first just at the definition of continuity. So basically, if a function is continuous, that means the limit as x approaches some value a of this function f of x, this has to equal the function evaluated at the point a. So to better understand this, let's first look at an example where the function is not continuous. Let's say we have some random function where at this point A, there's a hole in the graph. So you can see that as the limit as X approaches A, that the function starts to approach some value here. But if you just plugged in this value of a into the function, it doesn't actually exist. So the limit does not equal the function evaluated at a. You could also have a case where maybe the function evaluated at a is some value up here or down here. And again, that limit, even though that limit is approaching the same value, if you approach it from the left or the right, that value is not the function evaluated at a. So the only way for a function to be continuous is for the function evaluated at a essentially to fill in this hole here. So that the limit as x approaches a from the left and the right approaches this same value and we can actually plug in the, the value a into the function here and get a result that's equal to this limit. So this is what it means for a function to be continuous. So looking at our problem here, the point in question is x equals zero. So if you just plug in x equals zero to the function, it's equal to k. And for all values non-zero, f of x is equal to this function. So we'll take a limit as x approaches zero in this equation here, since this equation is, is defined for all values of x near zero. And we'll set that equal to the function evaluated at zero, which is just k. So let's make a little bit more room and go ahead and do that. So we wanna take the limit as x approaches zero of this top equation here, since this is defined for all values near zero. So we have x over two minus the square root of four plus x. And this is equal to the function evaluated at zero. So f of zero, since this has to be true for the function to be continuous. And the function evaluated at zero is simply equal to k. So if we can evaluate this limit, we can figure out what k is equal to. So to evaluate this limit, let's first start by just plugging in zero in anywhere we see x. So let me first make some space. And now plugging in zero to this limit, we would get zero in the numerator and then two minus the square root of four plus zero or just two minus the square root of four. Square root of four is two, so you get zero in both the top and the bottom of this fraction. So we ended up with this indeterminate form, zero over, over zero. And when we have this case, we can use L'Hopital's rule to evaluate this limit. So applying L'Hopital's rule, essentially all we have to do is take the derivative of the top of this function and divide it by the derivative of the denominator of this function. So the derivative of the numerator x is just one. So we're again taking a limit as x approaches zero where the numerator is now one and the derivative of this denominator, first it might be easier to see this as two minus four plus x to the one half power. And this way it'll be a little bit easier to take its derivative. So the derivative of a constant is just zero. So then we just have to take the derivative of the square root and we bring the exponent down. So we have minus one half and we carry along the inner function. We're essentially applying the chain rule here and we subtract this exponent by one. So now that it's minus 
1 half, and we multiply it by the derivative of this 4 plus x, but that derivative is 1. So now rearranging this limit, we have the limit as x approaches 0. We're going to first make this exponent positive, so we have 4 plus x to the 1 half power, and then this minus 1 half, if we essentially move it into the numerator, becomes minus 2. So now we just have to evaluate this function here as the limit as x approaches 0. And for this function, we can just plug in 0 so that we end up with minus 2 times 4 plus 0 to the 1 half power, or minus 2 times by the square root of 4, and the square root of 4 is 2, so this is simply equal to minus 4. And remember that this limit is equal to k. So k is equal to minus 4. So to answer the question, in order for this function to be continuous, k must be negative 4.